And what place does is we measure what people do in the physical world. So think of it almost like Nielsen or Comscore. But instead of measuring what TV shows people watch, what websites they visit, what we're actually measuring is where they go in the physical world. And we intersect that with things like advertising to say what was the impact of that ad that you heard on Pandora in driving you to McDonald's? What was the impact of the banner ad that you saw on Millennial Media's network in driving you to Home Depot? And those types of metrics that are really kind of taking what happens on digital and pushing them offline. So you founded the company. I founded the company, yes. What was your big aha moment to say, I'm gonna do this, I find that there's a need, um, and I'm gonna sacrifice some personal time, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, and I'm gonna create a company. What was the inspiration then? So I used to work at a company called Quantcast, where I led product there, mm -hmm. and I think um, in that role, I got to really understand what people were doing on desktop, and what, what the focus around measurement was. And what was really interesting was as iOS came out, as Android came out, people were still focusing in on desktop metrics. So what were people doing on the phone? What were they doing in the app? What websites they visit? They weren't taking into account the context of where is that person in the physical world? Because that handset becomes this persistent cookie where you need to be able to understand if you were at a 7-Eleven, a Costco, or driving your car, there's different actions that you're gonna take based on the ads that you see, based on the content that you consume. And people weren't really going after that market. So it was just kind of that opportunity that presented itself. How, from your perspective, with the technology of your company, can you help not only the brand, but the production company find if it sold the product? When you, when you look at mobile video today, it's really focusing around the views, the social sharing, um, what was the engagement within the video, and those are great metrics. Those are great starting point metrics to say, is this content engaging? But the next step after that is to say, hey, hey, it's great I got you know, 100,000 shares on Facebook, but what does that actually mean? Did that actually drive somebody into the store that carries my product, and did they purchase? So what Place does is we're able to go in and say, from the ad that was viewed, map that back to our audience, it's a double opt-in, so we measure about a thousand locations per user per day, we see over a quarter billion latitude and longitudes directly from that user base, and we could take that video exposure all the way to do they go into the store, and as they start to go in the store, as they look for that product that was being the sponsor or that was highlighted in that video, we can actually map that back to ask them the question, hey, we saw you at Walmart, did you purchase product X? And then because it's an opt-in audience, they like to engage in those types of questions. And they'll say, hey, I actually did purchase uh, a roll of toilet paper, Tostino's pizza, uh, some cleaning detergent. And we're able to tie that back now all the way from saw an ad on YouTube to actually going into the store that carries the product to then actually making that purchase. Additionally, we partner with third parties that also give us incremental data to go in and say, beyond just the surveys, can we add in other data that comes from loyalty cards? And the answer is yes. So we create this holistic view where we can not only support shops that have loyalty cards, but also shops that don't, where there's a big chunk of retailers that don't have loyalty cards that you don't, can't map down to the individual product, and Place can close that loop. So that's the real value proposition, go all the way from saw a video to actually bought the product, and it really changes that conversation from, hey, shares are great, views are great, now it's all about, hey, if I have a limited amount of shares but it actually converts on the back end, it's okay. Not every video has to have 10 million views. Rather, I need a million views from my best core audience that will actually change their behavior because they saw it. You want both, because you want the boss to see you got 10 million <laughs> views, but yeah. you want to be able to perform. But if you're clearly targeting and 500,000 views, equals a lot more sales than five million views. You, you need to be able to see that data. And I think it's a data-driven tr uh, data approach to actually optimizing, to say what is driving value, versus going in and saying, hey, if I've got 100 million views, you might go in and say, it was a win, we got massive reach. If that's the goal, the goal of the campaign, that's great. But I think people want is ROI. It's to say, if I spend $100,000 to produce this video, another $100,000 to market it, is it going to at least generate one-to-one, -one, and ideally is it going to generate five-to-one in terms of return on ad spend? I think that's where you're seeing the market move, especially when it comes to mobile video. Because in the traditional sense, in the old days of display, it was all about click-through rate. Sure. People optimize the click-through rate, and it's great to show your boss, I've got a 1% click-through rate on this ad, but it really doesn't matter, because what we found out over time is that 1% click-through rate was garbage clicks, it was bots, it was banner ads that were floating on top of a page. It was really more about the right audience that you reached that then ultimately took action into the store. So I think that's what we're seeing over time in terms of digital, from desktop, it's already happening, and I think in mobile, you're seeing it happen more and more.